Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about mark as touched method of a form control in reactive forms. To know more about form controls and the different types of methods and the properties of a form control, please watch my previous videos in this tutorial. Let's understand with an example. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, I have created a project with app.component.html and app.component.ts as a default component for my application. And also, I am running this application at localhost 4200. To understand about mark as touched, let me create one of the input field. Input let me give a placeholder as email or enter a email and also let me give some type as text and also let me create a button div and inside this div let me have a button and inside this button let me use a click event as submit and here let me use submit and save this so here let me create this particular method inside my TS. Now I have a button, I have a input field. Let me create a form control. So text form control colon, it's a type of form control. It has been imported from Angular forms. And let me create this instance for form control. And by default, the value is empty. And let me give a validation like validators dot required. I have discussed about validations and its usage in my previous videos. Please watch for your better understanding. Let me save this. Now what I want to do is I want to embed or bind this text form control to my text field by using a property called as form control and equal to paste this text form control. So my form control has been binded to this text form control. Now let me go to the browser. Here already we have something like enter email and also a submit button. Let me clear all this console and inside this submit I didn't wrote any of the logic. So what I want to do is I want to type something and click on submit and if I remove this I want to see the message. So let me write that logic for error messages. Let me use a div and inside this div star ng if my form control that is text form control dot invalid whenever it is valid and whenever it is touched so text form control dot touched or text form control dot dirty so in these three cases I can check a span with a condition ng if text form control dot errors if that errors exist then we need to check a required property. So if the required property exists, this field is required. This is my error message. Let me save this, go back. And here, let me type something and remove all this. You can see this field is required. Then where we are using mark as touched. In some of the use cases, we will be using a submit button and when the user clicks on that submit button we need to validate all the fields of that particular form controls here i have only one field to validate so that's why what we can do is whenever i'm clicking on the submit i'm not able to see any error messages but my submit button is in enabled state and my field is also not showing any error message in such scenarios the user may not understand clearly the error messages so that is why what I can do is I can check if this dot text control form control dot invalid then I want to show the error message to the user this dot text control error messages dot mark as touched so that means it is simply like a manual user touch so for example i'm touching here and coming out i'm seeing this field is required let me reload this in the same way whenever i click the submit button i am virtually touching this particular field from my logic that means whenever there is an invalid content then i am creating this as marked as touched whenever this is marked as touched my touch property will change and it will try to validate this form control now the validation will fail if the field is not filled with any data then we will be getting this particular error without touching our field with a mouse pointer. So let me go back and clear it off, reload. Now I'm not touching anything in the field. Let me go and click on submit. 
so now you can see this field is required that means we are validating our fields and showing the error messages to the user by using a property called as mark as touched whenever the field is touched then automatically all the validations will be validated by the form control itself and we can see the error messages if anything persists for example here i have entered some value already and came back and clicked on submit now we are not seeing any error message let me remove this and we are seeing the error messages by this we can use two types of validations one is on the flow validation that means whenever i am trying to type something on the field you can see the validation messages and also whenever the user submits even without touching the fields we can show that error messages for the user so that is how your mark as touched will be used for validating or for reconfirming whether that particular fields are showing the error messages or not hope you like my explanation if you like my explanation please like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you